Hi, welcome to a new video. Today I want to derive the marginal for the beta Bernoulli model. Recall for the posterior, we made the theta parameter to the Bernoulli distribution a latent random variable, and we modeled it as a as beta distribution with an alpha and a beta hyperparameter. And then we had our wi's and we observed n of them. And this is also our data set, the wi, the n observations. And of course, the wi, it was, for instance, associated with good or bad weather, which, and we, we modeled it as uh, Bernoulli with the theta parameter. So you see the theta from the beta goes into the Bernoulli. And when we derived the posterior, we applied Bayes' rule in order to change the order in the yeah, condition here. And we get a P of theta given D as P of D given theta times P of theta divided by P of D. And in this video, I said that P of D or the probability of the data set is difficult. But it was not 100% clear what I meant by difficult. So I want to elaborate on this. So the question is, what is difficult? And we will find the answer to the difficulty here in the derivation of the marginal. Okay, but before we go there, let us start with the joint again. So the joint distribution is the probability of theta and the data set. And this can be factorized as P of theta times P of the data set given theta. And we can then plug in what we have. So P of theta was the beta distribution. So it's one over the beta function of alpha and beta times theta to the alpha minus one times theta to the beta minus one times the product from I is zero to capital N minus one of theta to the i weather observation times one minus theta to the one minus i weather observation. And recall from the posterior video, if we take the product of an, like an exponent here, like of this um, expression, this is equivalent if we take the sum in the exponent. And then we can also like take the summation with the theta here. And surely this should be one minus theta. And so that this fits to this part. And then we get one over the beta function of alpha and beta of theta to the alpha plus sum from i0 to n minus one over wi minus one times one minus theta to the beta plus n minus summation from i0 to n minus one over wi um, minus one. Okay, that's it. Okay, and we can then use this joint distribution in order to go to a marginal. But the marginal or the probability of the data set is not directly seen here because um, recall this P of D is used in, other con in, in an other context too. And in this case, it can be evaluated easily. Um, but this is only the case if we have a purely um, observable nodes. And in our case, recall the theta was latent. And in order to find this P of D, we have to remove the theta from the joint. So we find the marginal, so this is the, the marginal, by marginalizing P of theta and D over theta. And this was our joint. Okay, let's try this. So what is meant by marginalizing? So you essentially try out or like you try to use, uh, find a, a probability over all possible instantiations of the theta. And since theta is a continuous random variable, which can lie between zero and one, we have to integrate. So P of D is the integral of overall thetas of P of theta and D, D theta. And we can make this more explicit. This is the theta from zero to one. And then we plug in what we had up here. So it was uh, one over the beta function 
of alpha and beta times theta to the alpha plus summation from 0 to n minus 1 over the observations minus 1 times 1 minus theta to the beta plus n minus summation from 0 to n minus 1 over the, I obs obs the weather observations minus 1 d theta. And I hope you're now getting kind of where I wanted to lead, like to the place where it starts to get difficult. And, and the difficulty here is it's hard to find the antiderivative. So hard to find antiderivative. And this antiderivative would be our analytical solution to the integral. And and this this difficulty here is is already eminent in the case where we just look at the beta Bernoulli model, and this beta Bernoulli model is compared to other what you probably could observe in probabilistic machine learning is something fairly simple. And now imagine, for instance, you would have more than just one latent variable, or you have multi-dimensional latent variables, and you would have to integrate over all of them, and all of them would kind of create this kind of complicated integral. You kind of soon start to reach a limit where you would give up just because it's too difficult. And sometimes it's also impossible to find this antiderivative. So it is impossible, or not in our case, not, but, but sometimes impossible to find exact solution. And this is also what is commonly referred to as intractability, or this means it is intractable. And it means it is intractable to find an exact representation of the marginal. As I said, in our case, we can do it. But before we come to the solution, let us quickly um, try to give a hint how you would do this like in an approximative way. And for this, let us look at um, the integral up here again. And this is nothing else, let's put this in bracket, this is nothing else as the integral over, I mean, factorizing the joint, p of theta times p of d given theta, d theta. And since theta, as I said, is a continuous random variable, and what you see here is nothing else than the expectation over theta distributed according to p of theta over the likelihood and the likelihood was p of d given theta and this can be evaluated by sampling and if you've seen the video on uh, the predictive posterior we've also come across um, an operation where you would do something like this but you would then um, sample or find the expectation over the posterior and here we would do the expectation over the prior Okay, this is a little more advanced, so let's come to the actual solution. And I hope it's not kind of uh, like disappointing, but we're not performing the actual integration here. Because um, what we are actually using is a property of the beta function. And I don't want to derive this as said, and I will just give the solution. And if you evaluate this integral, it will be, um, the denominator will be the beta function of alpha and beta and the numerator will be the beta function of an alpha prime and the beta prime where alpha prime is similar to the um, posterior is an alpha plus a summation from i0 to n minus 1 over the i weather sample and the beta prime is a beta plus an n minus the summation over all observations and something really interesting to observe here is that what we get out, so basically um, this part here, or let's don't have this in this color, it means it is intractable. So um, what we get out here is, is no longer a distribution. So, and this is contrary to um, what we might might observe here because uh, we are having like this p of d 
but it's a really common way of writing the probability of a data set, whereas actually what is actually meant, um, because let's say because P of D actually means that P of the Weber vector or like all the Weber um, observations is the data set. So recall, um, I use this way of noting down that um, that a certain um, yeah, variable is instantiated with, with a small letter and the collections of all the Weber observations is called the D, the data set. However, the collections of all random variables is the W vector. So like this is this N length um, vector of random variables that is abbreviated in the plate notation here. So actually what we're getting out here is a just a probability. So this is just probability. So it is not a function in the sense. Okay, and that's already it. Um, I hope the derivation was clear. Let me give you some um, concluding thoughts. And the thing you have to um, keep in mind is that we have to do integration or at certain points also summation if it is the, if we have to um, yeah, delete discrete uh, latent variables. But however, this um, integration and also the summation, which can blow up in complexity, um, is hard to evaluate in full. And therefore, people refer to it as intractable, and I refer to it as difficult. And you will probably encounter this in many other models. And the remedy, if you still want to have this uh, this probability or like the marginal likelihood, we call them the marginal likelihood too, um, then you would need some sampling technique. Okay, that's enough for today. I hope you enjoyed the video. Here you can find um, more videos on the same topic and good luck with your learning journey.